Hello, hello. Good morning, Life by Designers. You know, one thing in creating your life by design, it's your design. You get to say what's in there. And I've been working with some people lately, or well, probably in the last couple of years, and our, their focus used to go on what was going on around how people were acting, how people were treating them, um, what behaviours were good or bad, and all of this sort of stuff. And I, my, my go-to was always only put your attention on what you want to see more of. And then they came back and they said, but if I don't pull them up on the things that they did bad, aren't I just condoning that? And I said, okay, if we're talking about a child, you would point out maybe your behavior could be a bit differently there and then show them appreciation or give them praise for the good, the good behavior that they're doing. But if you keep reinforcing the bad behavior and telling them and keep bringing it up, guess what you're putting into their mind? That, that that's who they are. Um, if it's outside, external, like outside of your family sort of thing, and it's what's going on in the world, like you think about it, you watch murder mysteries all the time or murdering movies, you're actually putting attention on that and consenting to having more of that in into your existence. So the whole reason for this live was to only put your attention on things you want to see more of, on good things, and only praise the good things. Yes, if it's a child that you need to say something to, go ahead and just, but it's not, in, to, not as a place that they're bad, they're just learning. We're all learning. And you know what? There are still a lot of adults that do some not so nice things because where they're coming from is from a place of anger. And a lot of the times it comes from external forces that we see something that automatically triggers something because we've been taught that that's bad. And so then it triggers something in us and we feel bad then. And then we talk about it to other people or we post about it on Facebook or Twitter or not even if Twitter is still a thing, on Instagram, on whatever else that there is out there. It gets posted, it gets more attention to it and then people comment and then you comment back to people's comments. And what we're actually doing though is putting more attention on the things that we don't want to see more of. And wherever you put your attention, that is going to grow. It's focus. Wherever, like if you water your weeds, they will grow faster. If you only watered the flowers and pulled the weeds out, so only give your attention to the good things and keep pulling the other stuff out of your life and stop bringing attention to it, you are going to have a much more easier and happier and, in, and joyful life. Doesn't it just make sense? Okay, comments here. Hello, hello. Oh, let me see if I can get them up. Oh, good morning, Kathy. Morning, Beck. Yes, it's not necessarily with kids either. There is adults, Beck, that do it all the time too. So we've just got to go, hang on a moment. Do I want to... And on my last retreat, I had um, a lady say to me, but Polly, what do I do? What do I do when the whole conversation is around this and then I'm sort of getting pulled into it? Or I'm just with a friend and the conversation has turned negative and I'm like, oh, hang on a moment, I just got to take this call. And she was just like, what? Like, it was pretend. But I said, that's some, one thing that you can just do. Change the whole situation, change the energy of a situation. Because that little bit there, you might throw a spanner in the works and they're like, what? You just, but that train of thought is gone. And then counteract that with a better conversation. Or you can just walk away. Take the phone call, walk away, and then just keep going. I've got to go. I'll see you later. Um, look, this is your life, and you create it by what you put your attention to and attention on. I have done so many things like with my own kids and um, experiments. I'm like, okay, if this works, then I'll give it a go. Righto, because Craig's got this thing up in his office and it says, treat people how you'd like them to be, not how you are, how they are. 
and of course I've got a 21 nearly 21 a 19 and a 17 year old so they do some things sometimes that I go oh my god that was a little bit silly but then I thought okay I can treat them as silly or I can treat them as I like like them to be and the conversation actually gets a new new train then I can go okay what do you think you could have done better there rather than oh my god you bloody idiot what'd you do that for whole different set of um, words and actions come out so just think really think do I want to see more of this in the world do I want to see whatever it is that you're maybe posting about or having conversations about do I want more of it take my attention away from it if I don't and then start to put my attention just on things that I want to see more of so it's going to be lots of fun I would think like you want to laugh more laughter is one of the best cures for anything um, you want to have more laughter in your life you want to have more gratitude in your life so there's some things that you can start doing you can laugh you can laugh about anything you can laugh you know I laugh a lot when something I think something and something comes in like a speeding fine I got a speeding fine not long ago and I was like oh you're actually thinking about one of them so I was like well done Polly good job you did it you thought it and you got it um, other things like that you can see I thought that and it came in you can make all these little things and just start to celebrate them and go how, how cool am I I can think things and bring them into existence and if you can start to really see that imagine what you're doing when you're putting all your energy into the negative stuff you're thinking it into existence as well so make that be maybe your task this week to maybe we can put butterflies in the comments too if you if you got this and it landed with you and you're like yes I can change that today and start to talk about nicer things start to only have conversations on what you want to see more of and as soon as you start to go down that hole of oh but they could have done this better and they should have done this and da, 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 like that doesn't feel good to me straight away if you are not feeling good you are involved with the wrong idea change the idea swap it over and go for the good okay there's my bit of Monday mindset for you this Monday it is not a Monday mindset day it is my Q&A with just my clients so there's nothing on on Monday here um, tomorrow morning we have book club those of you that if you would like to come to book club let me know if you saw something last week and you watched wake up or you just like the feel of this and you want a bit more information I'm here you can just book a call with me you can reach out and say I think I'd like to have a call with you Polly I think I th there's something in this that maybe could really help me with my life that's what I'm here for the more people that start thinking into the life that they want to create rather than the life as it is right now which is maybe not be everything that you want the happier the world will be the more easier we're going to be able to get along and the results just start to speak for themselves so if that's something for you just reach out to me and say yes Polly I'd like to have a call and I'll send you my calendar link um, and we'll just take it from there I'm not a scary person I'm just like you I didn't come from um, airs and graces and a lot of money or anything I I decided I wanted to do it on my own <laughs> sometimes to my own detriment um, and there are mistakes that I've made however every mistake has led to a better realization and I know now how to get it faster and faster so how to make it easier and easier and this is probably the biggest step is taking your attention away from things that you don't want to see any more of in the world and placing it on the things that you'd like to see more of and it can be from movies conversations um, where your thoughts go controlling your imagination because your imagination can run away with you um, all different sorts of things all right now those of you that are new to the group you are gifted with elevate which is a 21 day mindset program they go for 10 minutes the videos there are the idea of those videos is to sit down in the morning have a coffee and then ponder on them throughout the day if you haven't received that yet or you've been in the group and you haven't watched them yet and you want to have access to them please let me know and we'll happily set you up in that we will just need your email address because it does come to you in my app or oh, in the app that I use Kajabi um, and they just like drip fed through to you over 21 days you just get one video to watch 
um, and it just gives you some things to think about and maybe some actions to do just to help you get your life on a track that you'd like to create on. All right, so if, yeah, if Elevate is something that you would like to have, let me know. If you'd like to have a chat with me, let me know that too. Otherwise, have a great day. Thank you so much for being here and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.